Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV, the official weekly webcast. This is your go to destination for all the latest and greatest news from the world of Disney Infinity. I'm John. And I'm Allison. And we've got another great show for you this week. Yeah, we're going to be counting down the winners of the Underwater Challenge. So we'll go through that top five. Plus, we've got other segments that we know you guys are going to love, including an interview with another member of the development team. So diving into the Underwater Challenge was a lot of fun. And we really appreciated your submissions. There were so many cool, unexpected twists. Yeah, get ready for some rockin' toy box action. Here's the top five. First up at number five, we have Under the Sea, created by Frostar9009. This underwater toy box tasks you to bring Ralph's friends to the tank and find all the hidden areas. Once you complete this one, write in and tell everyone how many are hidden and prove your mission completion with pride. Moving along to number four, we have Turtle Top, created by Father911. Dude, what Finding Nemo toy box would be complete without a cameo by our favorite turtle, Crush? Start the toy box in Crush's people tank and then catch a ride in the East Australian current. And getting closer to the top, at number three, we have Pearl's Avenger, created by Vasuri83. Nemo's good friend Pearl wants to go on an adventure. Help her follow Marlin's path by moving her from the fences to the pit. Make sure to play it all the way through for an epic battle at the end. And at number two, we have Ursula's Race, created by Pirate Steven. This underwater racing course will definitely keep you coming back. Ursula has set up quite an intense challenge for anyone who dares to ride it. Pick either a hoverboard or a vehicle and survive four laps and show her how it's done. And last but not least, in the number one position for the best toy box of the week worldwide, we have Ursula's Revenge, created by Crazy by Nick. Ursula is back and she's captured seven mermaids. Finally release them to freedom before time runs out. Here's a helpful hint. All is not lost if you don't win the first time around. If time is up, you can jump off to restart and give it another shot. Thanks again for all your contributions, everyone. They just get better every week. You just keep up all the great work. But it's not really work in the toy box when you're having a blast, is it? All right, great job coming down those top five, Allison. And now it's time to give all you guys out in the community your next challenge. And look, it's time to get things started. It's time to light the lights. It's time for the Muppets Challenge in the Toy Box, right? Woo! We're so excited for this particular one. At least I know I'm really excited about it. As you guys know, Muppets Most Wanted is coming out this March. And we thought, what cooler way than to get our Toy Box artists to participate in the awesome fervor around this new movie by having this challenge be about the Muppet. So, some quick suggestions to get you started. Maybe it's time for a Muppet themed racetrack with the Electric Mayhem bus. Now, this is only available on a rare power disc, so only a select few will be able to use it. But, there's some options for everybody, too. Those in the know tell us that Kermit, Miss Piggy, and even Animal are available in the Toy Box. We'd love to see how you're going to use them. Yeah, and for you Toy Box artists out there, please don't hold back if you want to do some cool bit art of some of your favorite Muppets characters. Bring on the shenanigans. So we know you guys love trivia questions. Why don't you give them one, Davey? All right, so in celebration of our Muppets challenge this week, I guess the trivia question should be about the Muppets. So, um, how about... Did you get that? <laughs> if you didn't get it, the translation is, what country is the Muppet chef from? Go ahead and write your response in the comments below or post on our forums. Hey, Allison. Hey, John. Hey, did you know that there's a really cool way for you to build toy boxes on the go? I did. It's pretty awesome. Well, actually, for those of you that didn't know about it, there's a really cool app that's out right now on the Apple App Store, and it's called Disney Infinity The Toy Box. And for those of you with iPads, you can download it right now for free. We thought it'd be fun to bring our producer, Dan Larrick, onto the show for a few interview questions to tell us a little bit more about it. Hey, Dan, how's it going, buddy? Really good, John. How are you? I'm doing really, really well. But you, my friend, are about to release an amazing update for Disney Infinity The Toy Box on iPad. So you care to tell these guys out here a little bit about it? Yeah, super exciting. So we started the game in September as a companion to the console, taking all the cool stuff you can do with the toy box, building and fighting and running around, and making it work for multi-touch. Uh, now what we're doing is we're adding in a whole bunch of new features that's going to let you play adventures for the first time on your iPad. It's going to let you do the master tutorials, learn how to drive and to do logic connections, and a whole bunch of new ways to earn toys separate from your console. So if you come back and play every day, you'll be unlocking new toys. If you're beating those adventures, you're getting new toys. And there'll also be ways to make in-app purchases to add toys to your collection as well. So, yeah, it's very exciting. Yeah, that sounds really cool, man. Now, also, you know, we've got a ton of different power discs that a lot of people on the console used to play. Are you adding those to the app as well? Yeah, funny you should mention. We are. <laughs> so, uh, we'll also bring all of the hex discs from Series 1 and 2 into the app. And 
if Series 3 comes along, we might be able to bring those into the app as well. All right, awesome. Well, thanks for being on the show, Dan. For all you out there watching it right now, the new Disney Infinity Toy Box app is available to download for free on the App Store. So check it out. Thanks, Dan. Great having you on. And we really look forward to hearing everybody's thoughts about the mobile experience of Disney Infinity. Have you downloaded it yet? Yeah, and hey, make sure you ask your parents' permission if you're underage before you download it. And look, it's a great way to actually build toy boxes while you're on the go. And it has a cloud syncing feature where you can use your Disney ID to actually transfer everything you've made on your iPad directly over to your home console. Guys, let's take a look at yet another way to add to your Disney Inventing experience. This week we're going to look at... Ka-chow! The Cars Playset. So we've got Lightning McQueen, Bridges Spide, Holly Shiftwell, and the Cars Playset piece, which is going to actually open up the Cars Playset for you to explore. Yeah, that Cars Playset is a four to five hour standalone game, and it features all the different cars from Cars 1 and 2 as they descend upon Radiator Springs to get it ready for a Grand Prix. If you guys are fans of racing games, you're absolutely going to love this playset. And it's got a ton of cool chests that you can unlock that actually give you access to brand new toys inside of your toy box. The Cars playset's out now, so definitely check it out when you get a chance. Next, let's move on to the social media spotlight, where we look at what you're saying about Disney Infinity. Wow, now shout out to all the lights and sounds for this super cool photo of Davy Jones on the beach. Quite a romantic shot there with the sunset in the background. Lori M. from New Jersey sent some this chilly, frozen inspired comment. Looks like Elsa's got a lot of snow shoveling to do. Whoa, Allison, now check this out. Modified versions of Buzz and Lightning McQueen in Tron costumes. Wouldn't this be awesome? And over on Instagram, by Sarah Halstead posted this really cool infinity inspired birthday party. And before we go, we have this week's Toy Box Tutorials from the guys at Avalanche Software, who made Disney Infinity. These will help inspire you as you start jamming away on your next great Toy Box creation. It's time to get things started, Disney Infinity Gamers, as this is what we call the Muppet Show. Toy Box. We've decided to do things a little differently this week, so my Muppet Toy Box is actually a recreation of the Muppets' famous theater. Go backstage and pick how you want the stage to be set, You'll see the announcement for one minute to curtain, so get your friends and get ready. Once the curtain's up, you're ready to start the show. After you're done with the performance, let the curtain down and prepare the stage for the next act. There's Dr. Bunsen's Muppet Labs, where you can teleport from one side of the stage to the other. Find the hidden stage points that trigger some unexpected fun. Or you can try the Island Paradise set, with beautiful waterfalls, abundant tiki heads, and some curious characters. Lastly, but not least, is a mysterious alien planet where you'll find the marooned crew of pigs in space. We've given you the space to really let your imagination soar, so put on a skit, put on a play, recreate your favorite scene from The Muppet Show, or just have fun being the stage manager. Whatever you do, just know that Statler and Waldorf will be watching. I hope you have as much fun playing Muppet Theater as I did building it, and thanks for watching. So I found out Logic Toys can be connected together while a replayer is recording, and it will not only record the placement of the toys, but their connections as well. This means that you can have interactable elements in your toy box that can come and go with the push of a button. Just make sure the replayer is green and that nothing connects outside of the recording. As in, I can't connect this button I used to trigger the cannon to this button because it's not part of the initial recording. I use this in Muppet Labs to make the party cannons work, but I'm sure with enough practice and creativity, you can come up with some really amazing things for your next toy box. All right, guys, so that's it for this week's episode of Disney Infinity Toy Box TV. Be sure to tune in next week, where we're going to have a brand new episode full of tons of great content. Meanwhile, get going on those Muppets toy boxes. We can't wait to see them. They're going to be due by March 12th. Yeah, have a great week, guys. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.